Hello. In this video, um, I'm going to walk through um, a new feature of LazyGit, which is basically about uh, having access to commits you've already made and being able to kind of change some things that you've already committed without having to go and interactively rebase or open up your editor um, to go and make some small changes. So one example is maybe you uh, added some line of code that you shouldn't have. Maybe it was like a console log or a binding pry. Alternatively, maybe there's some code that's in one commit that belongs more in another commit. Um, if you're the kind of person who likes to keep your commits kind of logically uh, separated, um, it can be annoying to see when you've got a bit of code that doesn't really belong in one commit, um, you know, having to go and interactively rebase and then uh, copy the code, go somewhere else, paste it in, continue the rebase, uh, it's very hairy. Um, so this feature will help you with all these things. Um, let's jump into a terminal and I'll show you what I mean. Okay, so um, let's open up LazyGit. And I have an example here where I make a grocery list and I add some junk food, add some dairy, and a couple more things. So um, let's say that I'm looking at my junk food file and I'm realizing that uh, this milk really doesn't belong here. It makes a lot more sense being in the same commit as cheese and yogurt. So what I'm gonna do is hit enter to view my commit files. Um, and then I'm gonna hit enter again and I'm actually now inside the patch and I can use space to um, select some of these lines and D to unselect them. And what I'm doing here is I'm constructing like a little custom patch based on the original patch. Um, you can select things um, like a range using V and then you can deselect just the same way, hit V and um, use D to deselect. Um, but in this case, I just want the milk. I'm gonna go back and escape a couple times go up to this dairy commit and I'm going to go control P to bring up my patch options. So I want to move the patch to the selected commit. Um, done. It's now in the dairy commit and not the junk food commit. Pretty cool. Um, so uh, for context, in the background, this is doing an interactive rebase. It's applying the patch in reverse to my junk food commit and then continuing and then stopping at the dairy commit and applying it forwards there. So um, as with all rebases, you can sometimes get conflicts. So um, let's think of an example of that. Um, in this commit here, I'm swapping out colorful lemonade. Um, so let's say that I wanted to use this feature um, to remove color from this commit. So I'm gonna go um, remove patch from original commit. Yep. And not conflicts. Now, if you don't know what's going on, you're too scared, you can just abort pressing escape. Um, but it's still here, so you can just again go try again. This time around, let's press enter and actually deal with these conflicts. So we need to make a choice. Do we want lemonade or no soft drink at all? Now, I love lemonade, so I'm going to choose that. Okay. Continue. Done. So now um, we still get our lemonade there, but we're no longer swapping out anything. We're just, you know, adding lemonade. So may as well actually rename this commit by going Shift R, and I'm gonna say Add Lemonade. Cool. Um, okay. So um, that's pretty cool. Now, maybe you want to pull some things out into your index or working tree um, to actually modify them a bit and then add them as a new commit. So let's say I want to grab these guys here, grab that as a range, and then I'm going to go control P and pull patch out into index. All right, so here it is. So maybe I want to edit this a bit more so I can go E and I'm going to add another thing here. Something else you buy from a grocery store, olives. Done. So here we've got um, the uh, unstaged changes and the staged changes. For some reason, Vegemite now has a new line at the end of it. I'm not sure what that's about, but at any rate, we're gonna stage that and we're gonna stage our olives. Um, you can unstage things by pressing D over here. Um, you can alternate with tab and uh, yeah. 
So I'm going to add all of that. Um, whoops, accidentally left lazy it. Let's get back in. Okay, so I'm going to commit this as as some more stuff. Cool. Um, okay, so another thing you can do here is um, these patches don't need to be just on one file. So maybe I want to grab an entire file here. I'll just hit space on it. Um, actually, maybe that one I'd rather do a patch on. Let's grab just a couple of things here. Maybe I'll grab these little starter lines. And here I actually do want the whole file and I'll leave this one alone. So yellow means that we've only gotten a part of it. Green means we've got the whole thing. And then here on the right hand side is the actual resulting patch that we're going to be using. Or I mean, technically we're going to use multiple patches, but this is just all of those patches kind of concatenated. Okay, so let's say I want to delete this stuff here. I'm going to go remove patch. Done. Um, now, you can do a shorthand for this. If you just want to get rid of a file you accidentally added, you can just go D and then go discard. Um, but there you go. I think that's all I wanted to talk about. I'm trying to think if, if there's anything more because it would be very embarrassing to have forgotten and then need to make this video again. I think that's the gist of it. Um, so yeah, this has been really helpful for me um, just in the last few days really. Um, so it's a pretty recent feature, um, but in the short time it's been out, it's been helping me a lot. Um, so yeah, hopefully you find this as useful as I do. Um, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. Um, until next time.